The Dragon Warhammer grind is deemed as one of the most tedious grinds in the game. A lot of Iron Man players feel this item is super necessary for their progression on their accounts. And as for non-Iron Man players, well, who doesn't like seeing a fat 40 mil drop on the ground after killing some Lizardman shamans? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Condor and welcome to my discussion on the Dragon Warhammer with grinds that grind my gears. After some extremely positive feedback from one of my most recent videos, Why Konar Slayer Sucks, I felt that this video series is something that I could definitely capitalize on and has a lot of potential with the way I present my content. Shout out to Ultra Lancer, I believe it was him who came up with the idea in the comment section of Grinds That Grind My Gears. I have taken that quite literally and now we have a full video series where I'm going to discuss some of the most tedious RuneScape grinds and why I think they're fucking dog shit. If you do enjoy the video, if you enjoy the series, leave a comment down below letting me know. And also let me know what uh, what you feel is a tedious grind that you would like me to discuss. If I agree with you that it is a grind that grinds my gears, I'll be jumping straight on top of that. I've got plenty of content lined up for this series to pump out. We'll start off discussing quickly the Dragon Warhammer itself. We know what it does. If you land the spec, it reduces the enemy's defense by 30%. It's a very strong and very good weapon with a very good special attack. However, the word necessary is not something I would be tying to the Dragon Warhammer itself. Now, if you have received an early Warhammer yourself, whether it's in 300, 700, or like even 1500 KC, we don't care and we don't want to hear about that shit in the comment section. So I'm going to stop you right there now. I don't care about your decent RNG on the Dragon Warhammer. No one fucking asked. This is about the grind being tedious. Now here's a few facts about the Dragon Warhammer that a lot of people either refuse to admit because they don't want to be wrong or they're just straight up fucking idiots. One, the Dragon Warhammer is not necessary. You can do anything in the game without the Dragon Warhammer and you shouldn't have a problem. Two, the grind for the BGS, in my opinion, is a hell of a lot easier and it is a much more reliable weapon provided you're not wearing something like Full Inquisitor. And C, no. Three, the Dragon Warhammer grind itself is a good reason why a lot of players burn out in this game. Dedicating yourself and all that time to one specific grind to go 14,000 KC before you see a Warhammer is a pretty good uh, factor as to why a lot of people quit this game very fucking quickly. Allow me to paint a picture for you quickly. A scenario, if you will, about my grind and my experience with the Dragon Warhammer. I did receive it very early at about 700 KC and I've been doing a metric shit ton of solo chambers of Zerek on my group Iron Man, which I do here five days a week live streaming on YouTube at this channel. Make sure you do come by, leave the notifications on so you don't miss a live stream. Come by, say hi, learn something, and fuck off. As I was saying, the Dragon Warhammer is deemed necessary for Chambers of Zerek. A lot of people feel like they can't do Solo Elm or any Chambers of Zerek at all without a Dragon Warhammer or a BGS. I'm here to tell you that that is incorrect. I'm gonna be very generous and say in about 100 Solo raids, I think being 40 raids, and that's me being generous, it's probably closer to 50. Let's just say 40 raids, of those solo arms, I have taken the Dragon Warhammer in there with me and missed every single fucking special attack. Maybe hit one. Every time. Without fail. That Warhammer is so unreliable and I will still go deathless and I will still get a kill. Arguably, I'm extremely fucking good at the game, but if I can go deathless in there without a Dragon Warhammer hit, you can too. And it just proves how unnecessary that Warhammer is. I may as well have taken an extra brew or an extra revitalization and not brought the Warhammer in because it's not landing specs. A lot of the time it will miss. And uh, obviously I don't have full inquisitors and I'm on 95 attack, but I still go in there with the mindset that if that thing misses, I'm not gonna be surprised. The Dragon Warhammer will be deemed necessary. And if you miss every time, then what's the fucking point? The content is still doable. You are not gate locked behind anything because of a Dragon Warhammer. The same thing can be done. I think Solid Bandos is kind of not an argument anymore with the Bofer and full crystal and how you can just go grind that. Theater of Blood is the same concept. You really only need one Warhammer on the team, even in a five man. Any more than that is great, and obviously it's gonna make things easier, but it's not necessary. You can easily still get a KC, especially if you guys are packing fucking scythes. So the idea that I wanna illustrate here before moving on is the Dragon Warhammer is absolutely not necessary. And if you do wanna gatekeep you teaching people raids, behind a Dragon Warhammer. You can't come with me unless you have a Dragon Warhammer, I'm not teaching you raids. If anyone walks up to you and says, I'm not teaching you raids unless you have a Dragon Warhammer or BGS, my advice is to find someone else to raid with because that cunt has no fucking interest in your uh, greater, I guess, experience in learning the game and your well-being. Fuck that guy, he's probably gonna dip the second he sees a T-bow and take a split from you because you were leeching. 
that kind of is not worth your time, come to my community with my Discord link down below and we will teach you. We don't charge you money. We don't care what gear you bring. As long as you've got a good fucking attitude and you want to learn, we'll get you a couple of KC and we'll teach you how to get the raid done. I'm going to stop ranting on about the Dragon Warhammer now. I think I've made my point. We're actually going to discuss now why the grind for the Dragon Warhammer really does grind my gears. You've probably noticed the quality of woman on my shirt here, obviously. It's the best taste a man can get using code CONDOR for 10% off on any of this merchandise or your GamerSup supplements right here at GamerSup's down below in the description. We'll uh, one day eventually get my head, or at least a RuneScape related head, on some anime titties and our own GamerSup's flavor if we sell enough tubs. So make sure if you uh, want some supplements or just some fucking big dick energy, grab yourself some GamerSup's down below. And then we can have our own flavor, whether you want Sarabru or Gnome Child Cum flavor or wh whatever we want. We can get it done for you guys. Just use code CONDOR for 10% off. Now the grind for the Dragon Warhammer starts and finishes with Lizard Men Shamans. I am a strong and firm believer that if you are not on a Slayer task, you should not be killing Lizard Men Shamans. Don't even fucking bother. Don't go for the, for the Warhammer. Wait till you get the fucking Slayer task, then go do it. Maximize your, your potential, your time, and your damage, and in my opinion, only use the Slayer-only cave to kill the Shamans. But I'm going to discuss why so you can understand why this grind really does grind my fucking gears. Now we'll start off with the Canyon. The Canyon is the multi-combat area down below near the battlefield. Great place to kill Shamans, to be honest. You set up a cannon, and you just fuck them up. It's easy. Their little um, purple cunts do 5x5 five five area damage, I believe and they will jump on top of your head if you are not standing up against the wall. Pretty standard. If you are a solo Iron Man, it kind of sucks because, well, you're the only one down there. If you are on a main account, what's the fucking point? I mean, you can, it doesn't really seem like uh, you should be down there anyway grinding for one. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you are group Iron Man, however, and I've been doing this recently with my boys, set up like three fucking cannons, have all your boys down there, and you can rinse the fucking cunts, and you could score a pretty quick Dragon Warhammer. It's not a bad strategy, honestly. For group Iron Man, so I do actually rate it pretty fucking highly. The Canyon gets a, an A tier fucking rating, uh, especially if you're group Iron Man because you just set all the boys up down there and you can absolutely fucking blast them off the map and send them back to Lumbridge. If you're a normal Iron Man or a main account, you do want to try avoiding this area unless Konar specifically says in the fucking Canyon. Now, in my opinion, the best way to tackle the Dragon Warhammer grind and not burn yourself out is to only do it on Slayer tasks in the Slayer only area under the lizard man settlement. This is easily the best place to kill lizard man shamans. The shamans inside this cave, it's single way combat. So you only have to fight one at a time. Their little purple cunts have a blast radius of three by three rather than five by five, which means they're less likely to hit you than in the canyon area. And you've got plenty of space to run around. These shamans will not jump on you as long as you are against the wall. Doesn't matter what wall you're against, they will never jump on your head because they are always obstructed. You can do an entire fucking task here and have zero issues. If you save it so you only kill the shamans on Slayer tasks, you won't burn out after you go 10,000 KC to get a Warhammer. You're not locked out of Corp. You're not locked out of Cox. You're not locked out of Tob. You're not locked out of fucking Bandos or Nex or anything. You can still do that without the Dragon Warhammer, especially if you have friends to take you with uh, through like Chamber of Zerik or Tob. You don't all need a Dragon Warhammer. It is not fucking necessary. Now, if you do commit to the ground and only go for the Dragon Warhammer while you're on a Slayer task, I heavily encourage it, and I think that's a really smart way to play so you don't burn out. If your friends are like, oh, I don't know if I can take it to Chambers of Zarek, dude, you're not going to have a Warhammer and Om, you're going to be leeching. They're fucking idiots. Send them to this video here. Just say, hey, you know what, go watch this video and uh, curb your fucking ego for a second, because here's a message for you guys out there that don't want to rape people that don't have Dragon Warhammers or BGSs. Who the fuck are you? You are fucking nobody to them. You're nobody to me. You're nobody to any of us. You're not special. And whether someone has a Dragon Warhammer or not, you're still fucking garbage. So get the fuck over yourself and just raid with the cunt. It doesn't fucking matter at the end of the day. Stop being shit. I hope that message helps someone or at least helps someone's friend. If you've got a friend that needs to hear that, send them to this part of the video and just let them know they're fucking garbage. So the Lizardman Settlement, the Slayer Only Cave, S tier, the absolute best place to kill Lizardman Shamans. Only do it on Slayer Task, only hunt for the Warhammer on Slayer Task. Fucking send it here. It is not a necessary item. Stop getting your shit fucking twisted over it, alright? It doesn't matter. Just wait for the Slayer task, fucking book it here. And now for the most controversial opinion of the video, the Lizardman Shaman Temple. This is the fucking worst place in the game to hunt for a Dragon Warhammer, and in my opinion, the only time you should be in here is if Konar says, go kill Lizardman in Mulch, or whatever the fuck it is, so that way you're in the temple. If you're in here, off task, and the, the, you're trying to find a Dragon Warhammer, you, by definition, in my opinion, 
are a fucking idiot. This is easily the worst place to kill lizard man shamans. One, half the fucking rooms, they can jump on your head still. It doesn't, like, you have to be against the south or the east wall or some shit. They can jump on your head if you're against the other two walls. What the fuck is that about? That makes zero fucking sense and it's annoying as shit. These lizard man shamans are also smaller. They're only two by two squares, not three by three. So not that many people do, but if you did bring, say, a crystal halberd or a scythe to attack the shamans, the ones in these temples are not going to take as much damage because they're smaller targets. So that's something to keep in mind. Not that it matters too much. However, one perk that they do have is their little purple guys. Um, they have a smaller blast radius of two by two rather than three by three. So only, well, is it two by two? It's like one square around them, kind of. If you're on them or next to them, sorry, you will get hit. If not, if you're further away. That is nice, but the runes are also smaller, so... In my opinion, it doesn't fucking count. I do, I despise this place completely, and people will literally... You will see, not normally content creators, because we have the perk of, I guess, having the ability to stream and, and do other bits of content to prevent burning out, but... Players, specifically, will spend hours upon hours and thousands and thousands of KC in here just to get a Dragon Warhammer, just to go to Corporal Beast, and die. It's not really worth your fucking time. Next thing you know, they're fucking, they're, they're like, oh, well, fuck this game, it's boring as shit. I got the Dragon Warhammer, and I'm still a miserable, useless piece of shit that can't fucking, that can't get any drops in this game anyway. You're back to square one, and you've burnt yourself out. Congratulations, you're part of the fucking minority, and therefore your opinion typically doesn't count to the general public. <laughs> I've obviously rambled on quite a bit, and I tend to do that a lot, so here's a very quick recap. Lizardman Canyon, pretty good. Lizardman Temple, fucking dog shit. Lizardman Settlement, Slayer Only Cave, best in fucking slot. Only go for the Dragon Warhammer when you're on a Slayer task to prevent burnout and understand that the Dragon Warhammer is absolutely not a necessary part of this game. You can do anything in the game without it and if you've got a problem with that, if you want to debate that, or if you just simply want to understand more about my logic and my thinking and you want some proof, you can Leave a comment down below, I will do my best to reply, I, I do read them all and I reply to the best ones that I can get to in the meantime. And you can absolutely, please and I encourage you, borderline begging you on my knees, cock in my mouth, come to the fucking live streams right here on YouTube, I can guarantee you'll have a good time. And let me know what you think about this video, let me know if you think my opinion is valid or if I'm just some dickhead talking shit. Don't forget, I'm doing the content creator tier list version 2 at 50,000 subscribers, so hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see me shit on a couple kids. Old School RuneScapes, Leagues, 4 Shattered Egos, coming soon to a channel near you. My name is King Condor, and I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you for leaving a like, and I'll see you in the live streams. Now, fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.